Welcome to Trial 6 of Summerlin. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm your host, JD Plays. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications on when I upload other videos. Um, definitely do that because I have a hectic schedule so I don't always get videos up on time. Um, good news, my wife will be joining me so look out for our first video together. And let's jump into Trial 6. You, uh, you really cared about that boy, huh? I mean, not to discredit this whole process, I'm sure you're still a terrible person, just... You seem like a good dad, is all. I don't know, it's odd. I typically only see the bad when I'm judging people. I don't understand why I'm seeing all this. But again, you're still a terrible person. Things really are more black and white than you'd think. Anyway, what's the deal with you and this Charlie guy? He seems a bit sketchy. Is he why you're here? Did you cross him? Just one wrong move and then... <laughs> no, no, that'd be too easy. No, whatever. Head on outside. Your next trial is waiting for you. Laundromat, that's right. Now, what did Charlie say? Yeah, four quarters in the out of order machine. Turn the coin slot crank three times. Okay, just. Oh, shit, I forgot the damn quarters. How did I even... Oh, it's fine. I just need to figure this out. Work for a bad guy and get... We're gonna find some quarters at. What's this duffel bag doing here? Hmm. Empty. What's this duffel bag doing here? Hmm. Empty. Huh, a quarter. Well, one down, three more to go. Quarter wasn't there when I walked by. What's this duffel bag doing here? Hmm. Empty.
So I'm not seeing... No, I need to find some more quarters before I can get this open. Bright and bright. Okay. On a quarter over here. There. There. Are we a quarter in there somewhere? Apparently, the soda machine does not give change back. Okay, never mind. Oh, there it is. That should just about do it. Now, let's put these to use. So, just four of these, and there it goes. It's so dark in here. And cold. Okay, let's check this out. Charlie seemed to emphasize wanting his laptop's hard drive erased. Maybe I should start there. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. Need something to carry it in. Wow, really? <sighs> oh. oh, shit! That was my last. I just need to stay upright until I can get some more. Hmm. This should help me carry everything down there. <laughs> Looks like a few of these guys weren't having a great game. Best I clean all of this up. Is that a... Somebody got mad. Yeah, this will need to go. I guess they were using these cameras as a lookout. It's best to have that footage wiped. Jesus, what were you planning to do with these, Charlie? Ooh, that's a lot of money. God, Charlie's got a small fortune down here. Well, I guess this is how they kept this room warm. It's freezing down here. Well, I guess this is how they kept this room warm. It's freezing down here. Well, I guess this explains where a lot of this money is coming from. How many people is he dealing to? Good thing Charlie gave me the code to do this. Can't imagine he gives that out too freely. Like, all this stuff is really gonna fit in that one duffel bag. This must have been Charlie's private stash. No surprise. Biggest chunk of money and the biggest guns. Refrigerator. Maybe I don't want to know. Never mind. Let's see what... Oh, damn it. Charlie didn't give me the password. I'll get the rest of this sorted out and then I'll call Charlie about it.
brought my own towel this time. Live and learn. Okay, I need to get that laptop password. Hello? What is it? Did you mess something up? No, just... I need the password for your laptop. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. It's, uh... It's Beverly217. Beverly? Yeah, what about it? You got a problem with... No problem. I'll get back to it, but after this... I want my money. And you'll get it. Do this for me, and you're out. <sighs> okay. Matthew? <laughs> Evelyn? What are you doing here? I know what you've been doing. What are you talking about? Listen, I may be new to the Force, but... I'm not stupid. You've been taking evidence from the scenes. I saw you driving here, and I followed no, you. No, Evelyn, please. You don't understand. Is it just for the money? Matt, I understand the pay cuts are bad, but... But this? I looked up to you. Uh, I'm sorry, Ev... Don't try to apologize. You know I have to report this. I know, but please... I need this. Listen, Matthew... I have too much respect for you. We haven't known each other long, but I understand that you've been serving for decades. And you've been highly regarded. I'm gonna have to ask you to turn yourself in. What? What authority do you have Leave to- Leave with your dignity intact and turn yourself in. You- You need to own up Please, to- Please, Ev. I need this job. I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Well, that didn't go out or, or go very well. Hello? Hey, it's Charlie. I know who it is. Where can I get my money? That's what I was calling you about. Uh, Matt, I can't pay you. What? Charlie, what do you mean you can't pay me? I said you needed to finish the job. My laptop is still sitting there with all of my information on it. That doesn't sound like a done job to me. Charlie, you son of a bitch. Plus, money is tight. I need What do you mean money's tight? If I recall, I just cleaned hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your basement. I have a life. I need this. I'm going to lose everything over this. And whose fault is that? You're the asshole that decided to work for me. I appreciate the help, so as a courtesy payment, let's just cut ties clean. You've got too much dirt on yourself to report me, and I won't send anyone to kill you. We'll call it even. Please. This conversation is over. That's a really bad day. You know... I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. What you're doing is awful, but you seem to have remorse? I mean, your intentions are good, but... God, I, I just... What you're doing is inherently bad. You are committing crimes, you are helping criminals, but... No, no. You know what? I deal with the bad people. And if I deal with the bad people, then you're a bad person. What was it you said before? I don't have much remorse. If you've done something bad, then you deserve the punishment. <laughs> well, good. Glad that's all sorted out. Before you go into your next trial, I wanted to question you just one last time, if you'll indulge me. <laughs> I say that like you have a choice. Okay, into the next room you go. Chop, chop. I don't think it's any secret that people act on instinct, at least partially. What's a bit more divisive is what those instincts are exactly. 
Some would argue that, by nature, the human race cares about survival and protecting what's close to them. They want to ensure that their lives are protected and live to the fullest. In short, they believe that people are inherently selfish. On the other hand, some people believe that people will naturally disregard their own wants and desires for the betterment of a larger community. People would rather benefit the world as a whole rather than benefit themselves. In short, not selfish. So what do you think? Are people inherently selfish by nature or no? Once you answer, head back through the door to your next trial. All right, that's the end of trial six. Um, before I film trial seven, just like I've done for all the other videos, um, comment down below, selfish or selfless. And uh, based off the answers, that's the button that I will push. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Again, uh, hit that subscribe button so you know when I upload videos. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.